This is a hill climb I've been meaning to do for years. I am first up and I'm gonna take the right hand side. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was nervous about this. It's a pretty tough hill climb. But first we had to meet up with some friends and get there. We'd been making our way through the last chance desert plateau in Utah, delayed by snow and washouts, before dropping down to the lower desert where we were finally making up some time. Unfortunately, we are probably gonna be really late for our meetup point. Uh, we were supposed to be meeting at noon. It's currently 11.30, still I would guess about an hour and a half away from our meeting point. So, uh, sorry Justin, sorry Jevin. Uh, I guess the snowy roads just put us way back. But we are making up time now, making good progress. It's completely dry here. It's just as well it was dry because we were heading into the beautiful Bentonite Hills. These vibrant hills are made up of soft layers of clay, which would be a nightmare to navigate if they were wet. Coming out of the hills, we reached a creek crossing where the water was unusually high and fast flowing. Look at the color of this river. Oh wow, yeah, that's the highest I've ever seen it. We finally reached pavement an hour and a half later than planned, so aired up and started heading to our meetup point. We just stopped to fill up with gas and uh, got a call from Justin, who is down in Escalante where we were planning on meeting and taking Smoky Mountain Road down towards Page. And he said that it's kind of a mess down there too. So we are gonna do a little redirect and rather than go up onto like turn left, the top turn where right. it is covered in clay on Smoky Mountain Road, we're gonna head down to some more sandy turn areas. Right down to State Route 24. The new route had us driving through parts of Utah I've never been through before, and the whole way I was looking at the mountains and the maps to see what trails were around. We finally met up with them. We've got Justin here in the Red Gladiator. Then Jevin has joined us in the Black Gladiator, and we've met him at Belly of the Dragon in Southern Utah. So we're about to enter the Belly of the Dragon. All the names that are carved in kind of pisses me off. Look at those cool petroglyphs. Well, this is a cool little side stop on the way to camp. It's actually just a culvert going under the road above us, but a uh, very popular one. So that was cool. It's a cool spot just to stop off for a few minutes. And uh, now we're gonna continue along the road that it's on and find a spot to camp for the night.
The trail we were taking was the incredible Barracks Road close to Zion National Park. This trail is currently under threat of closure under the Bureau of Land Management's Alternative B, which is the same plan that was chosen outside of Moab. If you're in the area and these trails are important to you, make sure you let the BLM know when their alternatives are presented for comments. We just stumbled across this beautiful spot, sheltered in a little alcove in the cliff behind me, and just completely stumbled across this one by chance. We had a campsite that we stayed at before, it's like way further up, and we were heading up to that, and uh, just happened to look up off to the side here, and found this little loop that's perfect for us. But now it's dinner time. Uh, if you want to see fancy cooking, go watch Justin's video, he's over there doing, I don't know what, here I'll step out of the way. i salad. You ever had one, Rob? No. Yeah, gross. It's got green stuff in it, I'm out. Uh, if you don't want to see fancy cooking, stick around with my channel. This morning we've got maybe half a mile to go before we hit a really sandy, steep hill climb, which could be difficult. It's been a very long time since I've done it, and the last time I did it I came down. I remember thinking, this is probably going to be impossible to climb. So uh, we'll have to see how it looks when we get there, see what everyone thinks. And that drone almost took a bath. We haven't quite reached the hill climb. Instead, we're at like a little obstacle that comes before it, that uh, steep, soft sand. Uh, so we shouldn't have any problems here, but it's time to air down and I'm gonna be airing way down. The method B grips I've got in the Jeep could, I mean, I could go down to like four or five PSI. I think I'm gonna go around probably a little bit higher than that, but they're great for holding the bead on the tire. And I actually have a discount code with those uh, or a discount link uh, that gives you 20% off. So if you want some for yourself, I'll put a link to that in the description. <laughs> Now 
how to head up to the hard one. is looking nasty. They say the camera never does an obstacle or hill justice, and this is no exception. The hill was just as daunting as I remembered. Who's going first? I chickened out and I told Rob to go first. Since I was first up, I decided to go and scout it out and decide which way I'd be going. This hill, like, it's, you look at it on the drone and you think it's steep. Then you get here and scout it out. It's insane. It gets steeper. Yeah, just that last little bit. Oh my God. What are you doing running up this? So we've got two options uh, of the way to come up. As we're looking at down here, if we take the left-hand path, uh, it takes us up this slope here off to my left right now and uh, that's rocky so it's pretty steep but it's rocky so you can do it if you take this path around the outside then you have to go up this which is really really steep it's even steeper than the rocky path there and it's all just soft sand so I really don't know which way is the best way to go that's the way I came down when I was in the forerunner and the rocky part and it starts off yeah it's sandy up the at the very top but it's a lot shallower so it's yeah. probably a little easier to go that way all right so i am first up and i'm gonna take the right hand side i'd be lying if i didn't say i was nervous about this it's a pretty tough hill climb all right here goes down I need more momentum I think I lost it when it switched to fourth gear so uh, I'm gonna try again and uh, lock it into third Third gear was the answer. Second, not good enough. Third gear, a little more momentum. All right, let's go watch everyone else do it now. Just like me, Justin hadn't made it the first time. He'd had a weird axle tramping that had killed his momentum. Jevin was third and had by far the heaviest setup. I was expecting him to struggle. And he did. On his fourth attempt, he made it. Last up was David, and of course, being the only Bronco, he had to show off.
I regret walking halfway down for the footage. I'm sure those are really cool shots. Oh my god, this is steep. And because it's soft sand, so I'm walking twice as far because it's just slipping out from under me. I regret this. I'm just gonna wait here and admire the scenery for a little bit. <sighs> Nothing to do with me being completely out of breath and about to die. It's just so pretty here. It's the only reason I've stopped. We just stopped at the top of the hill. It's a fantastic spot to eat lunch. Gives me a chance to rest, recover. All right, I'll see you guys at the bottom of the hill. Incredible views across the valley down the hill that we just came up. So now we're gonna continue along and uh, enjoy the sandy trail. Uh, metal cloak game changer suspension has some stupid flex to it which makes this kind of thing so much easier right about this tree on the right oh, I got it I'm worried about Jevin coming through here like I leaned a lot into those trees he might not make it Well, that was really close. It's a good thing we put the traction boards down there. So it turns out traction boards, not just for traction. Didn't seem close to me, but I wasn't looking. <laughs> it's on video, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> this is a, an early version of the Max Trax pin rotator tool from uh, justinbmcbride.com. Oh, revereoverland.com, I'm sorry. I don't have a website like that. That is a super early version. I think he got the first one of those Max Trax pin tools that they had on revereoverland.com. Now they've got a nice black finish and they come with a little 10 mil hex on the end, which means you'll probably lose them. so much fun on this trail. I love it with all these banked corners. You can just rip around here. 
Well, compared to like a side by side, we're going pretty slow, but <laughs> I'm still having a blast. Honestly, this is one of the most fun trails I've been on. I'm really, really enjoying this. The scenery doesn't hurt at all either. From here, there are dozens of trails we could take in a local area. And I gave the guys some options. Uh, I suggested there's a slot canyon just off to the north. Uh, there's some cool overlooks over Page. Uh, however, they want to go to White Pocket, which I've done a bunch of times, but I am totally okay with going back to because it's really cool. And because Jevin has the new DJI FPV drone and I kind of want to fly it around there. So we're airing up, got some highway miles to go before we hit the trail to White Pocket and I'll see you over there. When this opens up, it is one of my favorite views ever. And we're airing down again, just for comfort this time. Uh, nothing too difficult between here and White Pocket, but uh, I want to get some speed up. It'd be nice to get there around sunset, and hopefully, you know, just before sunset, give us time to get the best colors. These washboards are miserable. Take me back to the whoops. I much prefer the whoops, actually. Thankfully, we're leaving this road soon. Thank God, that was miserable. It is such a relief to be off that washboard road and back into the soft sand. It was pretty miserable. Uh, even air down to, I was around 16 PSI. This is a lot more fun. I'll take this soft sand any day. Alright, we've made it over to White Pocket, got set up in the little campsite nearby, and uh, gonna head over, start hiking up to it, and uh, hopefully the sun comes back out, because right now, without the sun on it, it's just, you know, it's a little bit colorful. But when the sun hits it, especially the sunset, it's brilliant red. So, uh, hopefully it comes out for these guys. As we walked over, the sun did come back out again, but the clouds hung around, creating a spectacular sunset that kept getting better and better. I can't think of anywhere else in the world that I'd rather witness a sunset like this.
Anytime I use that light behind me, I get comments asking about it. So that is the Deaver's Light Ranger. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. And uh, if you use the code Revere on that, you get 10% off. It is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I take it with me on every single trip. It's great for things like this, like hanging out. Uh, around the campfire right now we're transferring footage from uh, memory cards to laptops and sharing with one another ready for uh, editing all of this fun stuff and it's great for you know if you're cooking as well so I love it highly recommended but now we're gonna go back to transferring more footage because uh, there's a lot actually right now I'm transferring uh, the radio transmissions so see you guys in the morning I'm liking being middle of the pack. It means I don't have to get out and do, you know, like manual labor. After watching you climb that hill yesterday, some manual labor would do you good. Oh, I see some dino turds. Love turds. Coming out from White Pocket, there are hundreds of different roads you can take. And this one is the one that I did four years ago when I did the Overland movie. And we didn't really know where we were going. But I love it, because either side of the road, uh, Big old rock formations that look like giant dinosaur turds. Must have been a whole herd of dinosaurs here. This may well have been the Jeep's last trip, and I feel like it was a good one. But when we get home, I'm gonna put it up for sale. Right now, I don't know what's next. I don't know if I'm gonna replace it and get something like the new Land Cruiser, which is an awful lot of money. I might get an older used 4Runner, you know, something like 2014 4Runner. Or I might not replace it at all. I might just save a lot more money and take the Tundra out more. What do you think I should do? I just want to take a moment to acknowledge how ridiculous we look. Us three, we're all matching. We're all got black shirt on and then, you know, like green pants. Like, no wonder people make fun of us. But then there's Justin. Hi. Justin's different. <laughs> Justin is, he's setting his own path here. You know, uh, I'm an influencer. Pretty soon, you guys will be wearing straw hats and uh, Spider-Man shirts. <laughs> It's, it's happening. The Spider-Man shirt is particularly uh, uh, suitable here, right? Because it's the me. We, we just noticed, like we noticed like 30 seconds ago, <laughs> that this is what was going on, and we all just pointed at each other. If you enjoy this video, as always, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment to help with the algorithm. Definitely subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more like it coming out. Thanks for watching.